Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another day on the adventure bus. So today we got our valve from Amazon. So we're going to finish up the gray water tank and install this guy right here. So what this can allow us to do is take the shower, washing machine and bathroom sink water and drain it directly onto the ground if it's allowed. And the kitchen sink always goes into the gray water tank. If it's not allowed, then we can put the bathroom shower and washing machine into the gray water tank as well, just by turning this valve. So finally got that set up. So I'm going to finish that. The flex seal on the cedar in the shower is actually turning out perfect. <laughs> it worked really good. So this is like a plastic coating now. Uh, I wanted to keep the look of the cedar ceiling as well as, uh, you know, I'm a short guy and I wanted to keep as much headroom as possible. So this is going to work out for me. If I have some taller friends, well, you're going to have to duck. But uh, the other thing I've got set up here is I've got some vents for the fan, for the shower fan. And then I kind of pre-cut this piece of wood back in the, the shop, the garage, I guess you would call it. So this piece of wood's gonna go on here and it's going to get the flex seal treatment as well. There's two vents that I have to drill into that. So gotta do that. And the water system's giving me some trouble. I think, I don't know, I gotta kind of figure it out. The pump is continuously running. It did work, but it has an airlock somewhere. So I gotta figure out how to how to get water flowing again. I had it flowing, not flowing now. It's got an airlock somewhere. So uh, I've got some water, more water to fill up the tanks. Right now they are, well, they're, they're a little full. You can kind of see. I need to obviously get more, but right now I'm just kind of dumping it in with a Culligan bucket or Culligan bottle whatever 1.5 gallons I think they are so gonna try and get that guy pumping gonna finish up the gray water gonna finish up the shelf in the bathroom I have some wiring to do that's what I need to do is go get some more wire like oh my god the price and cost of all the wire in this thing this is all finished up now so that is the electrical panel behind there and I actually, if you can see, I can get right underneath there too or I can take this top off and get inside if I need to. Well, I should never need to, so that's fine. Uh, so this is all kind of finished up. Right here, uh, I need to put in three switches. One, two, three. One for the bathroom fan, one for the bathroom vanity light, and one for the ceiling light, which is already installed up there. So I gotta put those three switches in today. And yeah, that's what's on the agenda. All right, so we're gonna get started inside here and uh, kind of get this piece of plumbing put together. All right, so it is completely finished, all of the gray water system. 
So there is the drain line from the washing machine. Up in here is the drain line from the bathroom sink. That is the drain line from the shower pan. They all come over here. They come into this valve, which allows us to dump the shower, the bathroom sink, and the washing machine, or it allows us to put it into the gray water tank. The kitchen sink comes in the other side of the gray water tank, and it doesn't have this option because most places don't allow you to do the kitchen sink. So there you have it. That's our system. I'm just going to put a strap on here I think somewhere probably right there just to yeah right there I'm gonna put, put a strap on this thing and then I'm gonna call it complete also have to paint this metal still so when I get under here and do some painting I gotta seal all this up